recipient, JN.1, there is clearly a concern over the variant of interest as India is seeing a surge in COVID cases. Now, 358 new COVID cases have been recorded in the last 24 hours, a sharp decline from Wednesday's tally of 614. However, the southern state of Kerala continues to remain a hotspot. Let's tell you that out of the 358 cases, 300 have been reported from Kerala itself. In the last 24 hours, six deaths were also recorded. Three deaths were reported in Kerala, two in Karnataka, while one in Punjab. That means so far, 21 cases of the JN.1 variant have come to the fore, which are 19 from Goa alone. Mild monitoring <laughs> In the past few weeks, the number of COVID cases is increasing. If you look at respiratory illnesses in general, the contribution of COVID is much greater in December compared to November, and that was much greater than in October. In August, September and October, very, very few COVID cases were there, almost absent, even after testing. But that changed since November and December. Fortunately, most of these people are not requiring hospitalization. That's because most of the COVID cases are now occurring in the people who are traveling and who are well enough to go to work or to study. And amid a spike in COVID cases and concerns over the new JN.1 strain, some states have started considering restrictions to curb the further spread of infection. Now, stepping up vigil, in Uttar Pradesh's Ghaziabad, citizens have been asked to use face masks and maintain social distancing. Chandigarh too has advised mask usage in public places. Let me tell our viewers, Karnataka was the first state to make mask mandatory for the elderly and those with comorbidities. It has now ramped up testing in the state as well. In fact, as cases surge in neighbouring Kerala, Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya chaired a key meet on the overall COVID situation in the state today. 